During the summer of 2023, we moved to a remote Scottish Hebridean island to be its only two residents along with our two pet sheep and pair of cats. These remote islands seem to retain an old-fashioned rhythm and a charm which we find encouraging us to live a more frugal and simple life, the way man was perhaps more intended to. We have an ancient stone cottage to restore, veggies to grow, livestock to build up, fish to catch and smoke, a boat to buy, and much more. Step back in time with us at the Scottish Isle. Check me out. <laughs> Don't get caught in a snowstorm. <laughs> Look at me. This is, uh, this is like, it's been coming down like this for what, five minutes now. <laughs> Look at the state. Oh well. I'm going back home. Well, the reason that I'm out here is the uh, I was looking for some deer tracks because the deer were getting in over the fence. Um, and this has just decided that I'm going home. <laughs> He's just texted me, just flashed up on the screen. I don't know if you know, but it's snowing. Look at me. Anyway, I'm off home. I feel like I'm in an episode of Fargo. Which character are you playing? You're good at the Canadian accents, accent, so could you do, could you, this whole segment, could you do nothing but talk in a Canadian accent? No doubt about it, eh? Thank you. Would you like to explain to the viewers what we're doing? Uh, yesterday we discovered, well, Scott discovered, just as it was beginning to snow, uh, deer tracks inside the deer fence. We have the deer fence up in part part of the island uh, where it's cultivated, like the orchard. Keep them out. Uh, but yeah, we found deer tracks inside the deer fence. So we're going to have to walk the perimeter of it and just check that there's not a breach. Well, there is. Yeah, there must be. They're getting in somewhere. So... The... I think they might be jumping over some, some part. It's too high. They can fit, apparently, in a 30 centimetre gap. So, you could just be squeezing under it. The Although they're, they're not... I can't see that they're eating anything in here, so... They've obviously just come and gone again, but we don't want them getting in, getting stuck. The orchard won't be happy. Let's start up at the top of the island, where the gate is where you were the other day and you saw the tracks, cause even though it's been snowing, that's where I found a breach before and had to repair it, so. Well, I saw loads of, ti uh, I was gonna say tire tracks. I saw loads of uh, deer uh, hoof prints up near the buyer. Okay, well, let's start there. That's where I was when I got covered in snow. I was looking there then. My buttons, both buttons have come off. I've got them, they're in my pocket. Vintage clothing. Where are you going with your box? The bin. Takes that box everywhere with her. <laughs> Don't listen to him. So this is where I was yesterday, the clip earlier that you saw me covered in snow. Uh, but these look fresh, don't they? Yeah. There's t look at that, all of them coming down there. Yeah, so I think this is the, this is the, the place that they're coming in and out of. Well, up here is, uh, it's where I thought they were coming in and out, but that was months ago. You know, we do check the fence, but uh, it's actually quite handy that the, uh, the snow showed us that they've got this, like, highway here. <laughs> Isn't it? Well, it's either one uh, that keeps coming backwards and forwards all the time, or it is a lot of them. It just looks like, I don't know, at least two. Do you feel like a Native American tracker? So they're walking over here. Do 
It was just in the forest over here that I fixed before. And having a party there. Well, I think it was a very good uh, choice to start in this spot because I think this is where they're coming through. They're definitely coming through or leaving at this point. Not in that direction. There's no tracks here. Okay, there are, well, are there, there are, are there? more here, they're just old tracks. Yeah, but where are they here? There's ice there, watch yourself. These tracks stop. Well, they, well, they go off in that direction, but there's, there's more in here. The, the, these ones go around here. They're coming down here. Well, this part of the fence needs... Maybe need some attention. Come around here. There. How can they be crouching in under that? Hmm? These deer are massive. It's not like the road deer, are they? 30 centimetres they can fit in. Well, this is one... The bit that I fixed down there a couple of months ago is still intact, but obviously this has been a problem before, but that's not going to do anything, is it? So this is one area that they've been coming in and out. Uh, do you want to get some logs? Um, Just lay some logs in the way and we then, then we can... Put something, certainly. There are more tracks going up here. Uh, Kind of easy said than done, isn't it? Well, we can. Um, what about pulling up this bit of bridge at the minute and just putting that in the way? We can come back. The quad's right there. We can. You can bring some logs up on the quad. The light has just dropped dramatically, and uh, the wind's picking up. There's a storm coming in from over there. It's starting to snow. I just pulled this old electric electric wire brace off of an old bit of fence. Possibly still yank that out. Let's hope this does the trick. I assume Scott's just kept walking to check the fence while I fixed that hole. But I'm not walking after him. Ooh. I'm not walking after him. Going back to the cottage for a cup of tea. <laughs>
I walked the entire length of this fence. Uh, it's quite a walk, actually. Yeah, I see. There. Go and have a look, you'll see it. What's the best way to go? Well, I walk round that way, but no way is a good way to go. You won't get through there. It's all the nettles. Well, here, you go. Right, so this is where they're getting in. There. Are there tracks down here? Right in the middle of the stream. Yeah, there are tracks down here, aren't there? Yep. There are tracks coming all the way up. Up through the orchard, up along there and up the route. Well, that's a massive hole. Yep. They've pushed their way through. Um, what I'll do is I'll cable tie this up and we'll go and get a log or something. I mean, this, this is going to work because I can, I can tie it to that post. They're not going to get through. Look above your head. Look above my head? Yeah, Robin has come to see you again. I had it. <laughs> right, there's some logs. Uh, just over there, I can see that we can go and get to temporarily plug it and then we can go and get some proper wire. I'm standing in the middle of a stream. It's done it again. We always put the cable ties in. Everyone in the world always puts the cable ties in the wrong way first. It's the same with the USB. I'm sure I read somewhere a joke that said whoever invented the USB slot, when they buried them, they put the lid on and lifted it up again and turned it around before they had to bury them. It's all in the uh, delivery, you see. <laughs> Do you need any windows cleaning, miss? Oh, thank you. It has to be the most inhospitable place on the planet of Earth, the planet Earth. It is just... Do you want cable tie it to it? Yeah. I 
And they're not getting through there now, are they? Well, it'll uh, do till we go and get some... Uh, well, you just need something else, doesn't it? Some proper mesh. Actually, it's going to be easy to bring something on the other side because there's all those uh, logs over there. Mm -hmm. So we'll just put, throw them, but this will do for now. Could you pass me some cable tie? <sighs> well, uh, that was a bit more strenuous than I expected it to be. I thought I was going to go out for a pleasure, pleasurely walk around the perimeter in the snow. In, around the perimeter? Around the perimeter. No, there's a couple of parts of the fence that are quite... A couple of sort of ravine bits, isn't aren't there? Oh yeah, some of it. She, some bits you just can't get to. You got to just look by eye. I, I, I tried walking down there, but I just it just kept sinking in the bog. Okay, are we happy with the fix? It's an island fix. Well, it, it, we we've got plenty of uh, fencing things down at the cottage. We'll just have to go and get them. Well, the summer, but, seeing as it's the end of the day and the sun's going down, this will do for tonight. There's some old bits of metal in here. You should get the magnet. You a bit of magnet your, fishing. You and your magnet fishing. Every time we've tried this in the past, we haven't been able to get the quad up and over properly with the trailer. You can get the quad on its own, but without the trailer, it's quite useless. So, this is either going to work or not. I doubt it's going to end in disaster, but if it does, I'm ready to meet my maker. It's not that bad, I mean, over dramatic.
You don't have your new boots on. <laughs> so that's two wheelbarrows full. I've got my ET hat on. I don't have my microphone on. Bone home. <laughs> <laughs> it's his finger. Bone home. That was probably a better one, I don't know. People will have to grade my ET impression. It's been a long time. Since your ET impression days. Since my, yeah, since I was on the stage. <laughs> Scott and his amazing ET impression. Watch his finger glow. His finger used to glow at the end, didn't it? Um, this is the problem. The wheelbarrow's up there. See, I've got a technique now. I can't see where they're landing, but I'm going to see if I can get them all in the same place. That's heavy. Oh. We're going to send this as a video postcard to the... Uh, Scott doesn't do anything. Fan club. They'll love it. I wear this. Like I wear thing. this ginger hat up here because I blend in them with the locals. Look, look at me. I look like everybody else. Two birds scrapping, big time. That was quite vicious. What kind of bird? I did, all I saw was wings and feathers and feet. Some of these were the flagstones from inside the house. Uh, I never thought about that, but yeah, they could easily be, couldn't they? I'm going, to, I'm going to put the old welcome mat outside the sheep's pen. You know what? I think you're right. Now you can wipe your little hooves before you go inside. Say again. Now they can wipe their hooves before they go inside. Now I'm moving this because the sheep won't come down there to eat it. 
so it needs to be put outside the pen. It doesn't get any lighter. Ooh. We had a we had a rather vicious complaint in the blocked comments. Oh, was it? What about? About the fact that we only showed one minute of ceiling caulking in the last uh, video. But we're not a renovation channel. We're we're fly on the wall channel. A lifestyle channel. Like like that old BBC was it BBC? Castaway. I mean you really would think that they've got enough renovation channels, wouldn't you? And yeah, I know we put renovation in the title bar, but that's because we do do renovation. And we are renovating the cottage. But It's a fly on the wall documentary. That's what this is. And if we could have, if we could hire somebody, a third party to follow us around and film while we're just doing what we're doing, like other channels do. I can't take you seriously. Why? I look like you. <laughs> I've never looked more Scottish. Well, um... The snow's melting, isn't it? What? The snow's melting. Yeah, it's, it's that, uh, yeah, stage, isn't it? Yeah, everything's soggy. It's like you either want it snow or no snow. You don't want the in-between. You've got bits of black on, but what have you been doing? You've been doing that. Um, it'll just be from the stove. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's equidistant. It's like makeup, like you've put it on purposefully on the top of each nostril. Maybe I did. Yeah, now I know you're lying. Um, what are we going to do with these then? Because, well, we're, we're not going to know until we get round to doing the floor in the living room if the floor is drying out and if, you know, and if this stuff needs to come out. But you can see, see how they've built it and it's on a slope that's higher there than there. Yeah. So the water wants to run off down here but all of this is a big issue because this means that this is higher than the floor inside the house. Well, we've, we've had that conversation haven't we? we? We came to the conclusion that all the all the damp is coming through through where this miniature garden is into the house because of that issue it's higher than the floor in the house but so, the thing is I'm, the more I'm looking at these stones here the more I'm these are the flagstones from out of there who did this? They've been there, they're in the, the photograph that Ewan sent us with himself outside the cottage. Well, then that can't be the case then because Ewan's wife said that there were flagstones on the floor. So if these, if these are in that photograph, then these aren't the flagstones. I mean... Where did they go? Well, that's the thing. Did they really lift all the flagstones and, like, put them where? Like, I could, I could understand it if... If it was just there, but you're not you're not going to um, pile a load of soil on top of flagstones, and then put another floor on top of that concrete floor. I mean, th there's every possibility that somebody did that instead of using sand before they put concrete down. Well, it's a shame to lose this as a growing space. So I, I don't know if we're, we could put a membrane instead you know, dig a moat, uh, essentially, and put a membrane against it. Because how, I mean, that's the other thing. How how deep does it, do the foundations go? Not deep at all. No. Look well, at the bedrock right there. Well, uh, hang on. All you've got to do is have a look at the back of the house. Mm. Measure from the, from the eaves, from the guttering, sorry, to the, and then you'll probably get the, you know, you can more or less, you'll get the same measurement down here. Anyway. I don't, well, yeah, personally. Yeah, I know. This is, this is an abomination. I, this, I, I do not like looking at this. So you'd have to get. Well, we can, we can always extend that plot, just move it over there. 
I mean, that's not particularly nice to look at either, but if I want to grow stuff... Well, you can't grow anything. That, at the moment, as we know, is unprotected from the deer. Yeah, of course, and it needs tall posts putting around it and deer netting putting over it. When, when, yeah, why don't we just planted? get, like, a really tall Victorian, like, cast-iron fence? You know, like they're having cemeteries around plots? Yeah. Like Robert Burns' grave. Yeah. Because Robert then, Burns eventually, week, when you go, Wednesday. that could be your plot. What? You don't want to be here, do you? <laughs> no. There's still buds coming out on this. This, uh, This beautiful, like, uh, Emolting? No, no, no. A uh, coney fur hat is uh, making my head itch. Mm, I'll tell you what, though, it's so warm. It does, it's just, you know. I don't know who you look like. Is that someone from the 70s? No, I look like um, Sean Connery. Billy Connolly. <laughs> One of the Connollys. Frankies? Jim Kerr from Simple Minds. Fantabidozi.